approved. This is a little bit strange. So whether it's Jacqueline, whether it's Brittany spamming me with fake dislikes, I don't know. But like, okay, so let's get into it, shall we? Brittany Lancaster is 22 years old. Okay, she's 22 years old and she claims to have um, recovered from two serious EDs. Okay, she says here, recovering from two... I, I, she claims. Wow. I mean, already we're, we're not even 10 seconds in to the timestamp thing. And she, she claims, she's, she claims that she's recovered. She claims. And what a, what a snake. What an yeah. evil woman already. Come on, Freely. You can't go 10 seconds without being an evil cunt. Let's just remind you that she's the one that says she's cured eating disorders and she invited Eugenia Cooney, who's an eating disorder YouTuber, to come stay with her and recover with her. So it's not just a random person, it's someone who claims to be helpful with this kind of topic. Hmm. Thank you for being on your yoga ball again, Freely. <laughs> uh, I hope you're, no, I hope you're, she's activating your kundalini on that yoga ball. Rubbing she seems to have a compulsive yeah. movement problem. She's constantly moving her hands and things. That's usually the sign that you've still got some kind of eating disorder when you compulsively move. Yeah, I was thinking the yoga ball. I, again, I don't want to diagnose her because that's not... Some of us don't diagnose others based on a YouTube video freely. But yeah, she's... I diagnose freely as a stupid-ass bitch. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding freely. You're an empowered woman. All right, let's go we'll keep going over this. And losing 30 pounds the healthy way over three years through intuitive eating. <laughs> A lot yeah. of people are intuitively eating and they're obese. So she says here, so my bank account was drowning, lol, but I overcame Anna and BED and found balance. Okay, this is what she claims that has happened. Okay, and... I find it strange because in her videos, she always starts a video with in recovery. I'm in recovery. She says over and over again, every time. Good morning. It's a Wadina day in recovery from an eating disorder. But here she clearly says I overcame. So she overcame it like years ago, but she's still saying in recovery, which is really odd to me. I find it quite strange. And um, unless she's, it's her brand, you know, and she's got to keep up with the brand. You know, she's got to keep saying what that an to idiot. keep reinforcing what a what a complete moron because no one relapses in the eating disorder no that's not common yeah so I mean, so weird to me because i fix so many people with eating disorders it's so weird to know what's normal in the eating disorder world like yeah. really creepy <laughs> yeah yeah she she's an expert I mean, she is the expert right the expert on health eating disorder ethics the bioethicist freely Bioethicist and uh, and back alley reproductive health services provider, freely the banana girl here. She is uh, she's gonna tell us all. She did a twenty. Why is this minute twenty seven minutes long? This video. Why is it so long? I don't know. We're not watching this whole thing freely. I'm I, I sorry. I gotta say, there's like <laughs> one of my uh, wannabe doctors in the thing claiming I had a relapse. So is he talking to Tommy? I don't know who he's talking to. Oh, this is um, somebody's. Somebody's in here saying you relapsed yourself. Yeah, Here's I'm a, so glad there's a psychologist who also equally understands eating disorders like freely. <laughs> there's this other person that's been spamming the chat for like the last hour. Like for a while, every other comment was his, and yeah. I put him on timeout, and he's back though. Um, <laughs> I I think they um. They have like a million profiles because they have all day to create more. Do you think that was at you, Tommy, then? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. May, may have been. <laughs> Monos. Oh, oh, look. Tommy did something that's normal for recovery. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> Idiots. This guy, Mono. It's funny to see these people co coping live in the chat, too. Like this guy. Yeah. That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard. When I'm vegan, I can lift shit tons of weight, recover in no time, and never get injured. That is the most yeah. incorrect thing you could say. So he just, and everything that somebody says, he feels like he needs to refute it. I let him go for a while, then I just threw him on timeout. These people simply <laughs> want to eat animal products again. They want to be regarded as normal and be on the same page with other psychologically, with others psychologically. Oh, then he corrected it. So yeah, they just want to be on the same page with others psychologically. Um, yeah, that's part of it. They want to not be fucked up in their head. So that's why they stopped being vegan. They're sick of people like you. They don't want to be around people like you, Manos VR. They don't, <clears throat> they don't want to be associated with you. 
He says, of course you're going to feel better if you wanted to eat fish and you finally eat fish. So you admit right there that you're going to feel better as soon as you eat fish because you know you want to. Mono's VR. All right, let's go back to Freely. Dr. Freely. <laughs> Dr. Freely, the expert. Thing the brand. Um, so here, you can overcome anything. So she says here, suffering from Anna for two years. Okay, so look here. Okay, so suffering? Is it really suffering? I, I'm not suffering. I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. Here. All right, so Anna is, mental, is a mental illness, yes. But one of the criterions is your body weight. So the following criteria must be met. Restriction of energy intake relative to requirements leading to a significantly low body weight in the context whoa, of whoa, age, whoa. sex, development, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Whoa. And also abnormal low, abnormally low body weight. Abnormally low body weight. So here, she does not have an abnormally low body weight. She does not have that. She actually has like a good amount of flesh on her here. And like, this is one of the criteria. You can't just say, oh, it's mental and everything. This physical, this is one of the criteria. She clearly is not Anna here. Okay, so this is something that you just need to take notice of, okay? You know, people can think they are, maybe, but they have to realize that, no, she's just restricting her calories, okay? She's restricting her calories, she's dieting, all right? You know, you, we can't diminish. Um. Yeah, so like one of the biggest, I'm sure Tommy will agree, one of the biggest complaints we get is people come in saying, I don't think I count. Like, I don't think I count as having an eating disorder. I see people so much worse than me. And it's because of morons like this, putting it into your head. Oh no, you have to be dangerously skinny. You have to be on death's door to get help. It's because of this bullshit. Exactly, and she's- All right, now we're almost back, but let's wait for the, the stream will be back. Okay. Okay. And I did, we assume they didn't catch any of that and just start over, please. Sorry okay, about I'll start that. again. We're good now. Okay. So I, I was just saying before the little pause, one of the biggest complaints I get, one of the biggest fears I get when people come forward for help is they feel that they're not as bad compared to other people with eating disorders. They feel that like, oh, I think I might have anorexia or anything else, but I don't want to come forward for help yet because people are so much worse than me. I don't deserve that help. I don't count compared to other people. And it's kind of morons like this. They're like, well, let's pull your body up. And let's scrutinize every part of your body and be like, yeah, you got fat on you. Yeah, you're not skinny. Well, she's she's calling like she's calling someone who said she's anorexic. She's saying, oh, you were never skinny enough. You were never skinny yeah. enough. You were fat. Yeah. This you is this I mean? is demonic. This this chick is like, like next level. That's like the problem. She's got a real... Sorry. Yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead again, Tommy. Whatever, dude. Freaking toxic masculinity, Tommy. Go ahead. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's got a severe lack of understanding of eating disorders because you've got a new nutritional rehabilitate as in your weight, your body mass index. Then you've got a new really rewire your thought patterns in your brain. So you can be really, really ill at any body weight. It's not really about the body weight. It's about the thoughts in your head. It's a problem. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I, I still... I've not been convinced yet that Freddie knows what an eating disorder is, let alone that she can cure them and fix them for people. Mm. Um, yeah, I kind of think less of uh, her skills at this point. Cool. All right, so the, uh, Manos VR says he's not, he's not a vegan. He's not a vegan, you guys, so sorry. Manos VR, you're not a vegan, we get it, you're okay but you're still like the most prominent name in the chat and you have kind of incoherent responses. So you just get to be, let's go, I, let's I go per. About, you know I don't know I mean? about you guys, but I always get these, I'm not vegan, however, and there's like NPC copy paste of vegan stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the know. number one thing I get. Yeah, it's like you might not be vegan, dude, but you still, you're still, you still have vegan tendencies. You know what I'm saying? It's like you might have, you might have left the vegan movement, but um, the vegan movement hasn't really left you. Because you're acting like a damn vegan in the chat. You're being obnoxious. So you could just, here, we'll just hide you. You can go, you can go on a permanent timeout right now because I've seen the name too much. Let Mono speak. <laughs> the, oh, <no. laughs> Let Mono speak. I love You can go and soak up some of Dr. Gregor's vitamin D. Because the, yeah, you can go ask for some of that golden glow vitamin D from Dr. Gregor. 
Dr. Dr. G's vitamin D. That's going to be Dr. Gregor's only fans is Dr. <laughs> G's vitamin D. All right. I got to just start to vegans who are getting defensive because we're insulting one of their older empresses. Like, <laughs> just just take away the whole vegan thing. Pretend this girl who's recovering is vegan and she's just insulting her body. Like, you, you guys should be with us on this. You guys are all, like, so politically correct, apart from when it comes to picking apart... Right, drop the, the veganism and just look at the, the eating disorder yeah. issue that we're seeing here. Freely yeah. picking this... And, was she, does this have anything to do with veganism or is it just about eating disorder, the video? Like, I, I have no doubt, because I've seen this before, at some point, this girl's going to have an animal product and Freely's going to look at her disgust and talk about how her body is being trashed. I have no doubt she's going to do mm. that because she does that a lot. But um, yeah, it's usually not a vegan thing, but I, she has trashed vegans. Like I've seen her call Fully Raw Christina not, not slim enough and say she's getting chunky and stuff. And no, no one thinks Fully Raw Christina is anything but skinny. You know, I mean, she's very slim. So for God's sake, really. Yeah, bear, bear in mind that they used to say at the Rotto 4 that they could cure uh, anorexia through Rotto 4 diet. And they was mm. talking about, during where they used to say things like, eating 10,000 calories a day for people that was really, really underweight, which is actually the most dangerous thing that you could actually do because yeah. your body can get into refeeding syndrome and it can cause you to have a heart attack and things like that. It's mm. absolutely insane. It's the worst protocol you could actually advise somebody. Wow. Not great. If, so, if somebody needs to compile a list of just terrible advice that Durian and Freely have given over the years, I mean, you could, you could publish a book of... I guess you could title it like a Dr. Gregor book too. Just how not to be, how not to be. They have a compilation of shit that Durian Ryder and Freely have told people to do. Um, how not to live, Durian Ryder and Freely. Yeah, basically. Yeah, let's we'll hear a little bit more here. Yeah, and she's she's going hard. Like Freely is she's mm -hmm. very blatantly uh, deceptive. How serious Anna is. Okay by just everybody being Anna because they go dieting. No, 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 okay? That's just not how it works. So she says, okay, so suffering from, yeah, and okay, let's move it on. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, then suffering from BED for two years. So obviously she gained a whole bunch of weight here because she was restricting. So she's restricting at first, she's dieting, not Anna. Okay, let's not diminish the seriousness of Anna. She's dieting and restricting like many, 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 and then she, she binged out. Okay, that's what happens. The body is like, the brain is like, hey, we're gonna be in another famine. We need to get calories. Well, the calories are coming in. We need to store it for a future famine. Okay, because you starved me before, so I need to have extra stores that I can draw on to nourish myself if there's no food. That's what happens, okay? Is she describing right now, it kind of almost sounds, it seems to me like she's describing when somebody leaves veganism, when they've been starving themselves, <laughs> and then they just want to eat a bunch of steaks for a while. They're like, man, I can't have a meal without a steak or some eggs or some fish or some butter yeah. with it. <laughs> I also um, gotta add, doing this does not make you woke with the eating disorders freely. Like, this is not how, like, this jazz hands bullshit. That plant bites pays us. Plant bites pays us. She's so like, erratic. She's so, like, so manic. I think the only bit she got right there was about the body storing onto calories and things like that, because that's what they call the migration effect. It's like, getting back to when we were, like, hunter-gatherers and things like that. If your body's in a famine, it tends to store onto calories, but... That's a necessity to keep you alive. That's yeah. not a bad thing. And she's trying to shame that girl for that. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. we go through periods of restriction of calories. I mean, just throughout the year, if you're producing your own food, you live in an area where most foods produced locally, you're going to have a little famine every once in a while. And you're going to have times when you have more food available. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's got to pathologize everything, right? And I love how, how Dr. Dr. Empress Freely... Um, has just diagnosed her as she's not anorexic because Freely knows. Dr. Freely mm. here, she's got the answer. She's got the diagnosis. It's not anorexia. Definitely not. There's actually now laws in place in Britain, like for when GPs, because GPs have done this in the past, where if you're not like very dangerously low criteria to be immediately admitted, 
they're like oh no you're kind of not really skinny enough for this mm. and that there are laws now to protect people from that and you can actually file official complaints and stuff so you know I'm so glad she's not employed by some kind of governing body for this I'm glad she's kind of self-employed but I really hope that she's not getting eating disorder clients come to her and I, really I doubt she is help. I really doubt she yeah. is good I hope there's a lot of people on the internet about. though right there's so many people on the internet yeah there are you never know but I think I really, really hope whoever this video is about, she doesn't see this because this video is not good for her mental health. Yeah. Well, I mean, this, is, this is, goes so well with the beginning of the stream when it got really heavy right off the bat when, uh, when Tommy was telling us about the actions of some of the vegans just in the comments, like the seemingly yeah. almost coordinated actions, which might not be coordinated. It might just be that they're like, you know, they just, they're all on the same wavelength. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it doesn't have to be coordinated. They just, they repeat the same things. They're in the same, same echo chamber and they just end up blah, 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 the same shit. Or mm -hmm. it could be, you know, there could be a little nest of these idiots in a discord server somewhere plotting and planning how to try and trigger, um, the ex vegans and make them whatever relapse. I do think of them maybe. like that though. I think it's like a little cockroach nest or something or like, exactly. I really just think they come yes. in and they, convene because the way i've seen them they come out in whole groups yes. at the same time saying the same stuff um they all raid at the same time so I, it's, yeah. it's a bit sad <laughs> i feel a bit bad for them to be honest like i don't know there's better things to do with your sunday but whatever yeah. <laughs> no apparently not <laughs> nope. nope you just gotta harass the ex-vegans you gotta cope you got hard copes all right you guys want more a little bit more freely maybe one more clip and then we can uh we can wrap it up here. What time is it over there? It's like eleven or twelve. Yeah, it's eleven. Yeah, eleven. Shoot, I'll get you guys to bed soon. I know it's. I know it's getting late. I'd be asleep if it was eleven here. I'd be almost asleep. Hey, you need to understand that. So uh, you can see that there is a bit of an issue here with these EDs that she claims to have had. Okay, basically, eating animals and secretions is an ED in itself. And yes, the whole society is suffering from ED. So that's something to, I noticed to begin with. She didn't have Anna at all, okay? Yes, she had ED, like a lot of us did, okay? In the way of we are not eating our biologically designed diet. We are frugivores, so we should be eating a high fruit, high carbohydrate diet. That's just how it is. That's how our physiology functions best. So when we move away from that, then we get eating issues. It's not rocket science. This is what happens. Okay, and then now, and she's now being in recovery, even though here she says overcame again. My childhood. Oh, come over here. I, I think, I think we get the point. She's probably gonna say make the same point over and over yeah. again. Like these vegans have these twenty five minute videos that could easily be three and a half minutes. I don't get that. Seriously, I gotta say that she just said it's not rocket science, but she proceeds to talk like it's rocket science and it's going way over her head. Which right, I she's even like hilarious. putting the pieces of the puzzle together visually for you. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. 